In this video, we're just looking at the difference between dynamic templates and static templates used for provisioning. A static template is one where you're actually explicitly defining the machines and the regions where you want to do your provisioning. So for example, if we take a look at this one here, the AWS C512 large template, we can see it's a waterfall provision strategy that I'm going to use. So I want to uh, get as much of the instances that are listed first before going on to the next instances here. But you can see I'm actually specifying the instance type that I want to get and the region um, that I also want to use. So I'm very, very explicitly defining these. So we call those static templates. Alternatively, I could look, look to use a dynamic template, uh, which uses the yellow dog best source of compute algorithms. So let's take a look at that one. So here, rather than actually specifying the actual uh, machines or the actual regions, I'm specifying a list of constraints and preferences. The constraints must be met. So in other words, in this particular example, it must be AWS. The continent where the machines are based must be in Europe. And the number of CPU cores per machine is a range between one and eight. So the instances that I am looking to provision must meet those constraints. Then I want to get a preferential list. Uh, this is again a waterfall provision strategy. So the same uh, application uh, will actually apply here. So in other words, I'll go for the preferential for the top preferential compute first down to the bottom. So here what I'm saying is I actually have some other attributes that I want to look at as well. Uh, for example, the eco score of the data center. I prefer a higher eco score than not. Uh, the CPU range, I would prefer the higher CPU range than the lower ones. And again, for things like cost, I prefer lower. These particular preferences are coming from the data that we grab from the Yellow Dog Index. Uh, they can also be weighted. So here you can see I've placed a, quite a high weight for things like the Eco score on the CPU and a lesser weight for cost. So I can actually test this template before I run it to see what actual machines it would choose. So let's just do that. So if I hit test template, now I'm going to put in an actual namespace because this is important for uh, making sure that the results it gives me back are appropriate for the namespace. So what that means is as this report is coming back, it's going to look at the number of sources I've set up and also the images that are available for those sources. So here we go. The report has actually looked at uh, 50 machines in total, and these are the, the rank uh, machines that it's actually proposing. So for example, EUS T3 medium, T2 micro, T2 small. So these are, again, if you look, these are the constraints listed again. And as you can see, the, uh, the preferences per machine are actually shown. So as I roll over them, I can see the values that each one is contributing to the overall score. So the key difference, just to summarize, is the static template gives you a list of the machines you're looking to provision where you actually specify them. So you're quite explicit about the machine type and the region, whereas the dynamic one gives you a, the opportunity to use constraints and preferences to build that particular list and use the yellow dog best source to compute the algorithms to give you the scores you see on the screen right now. Thanks for listening.